kind of thought it might be a bit challenging to do a road trip. Yeah. Especially with continuous driving for four to five days. Yeah. With kids. Four to five. And uh, four especially, five. especially with Liam because the last time we did it, when we drove, he became a bit impatient. Yeah. And I would say they both have really surprised us. They have. And uh, they've been really obedient yeah. and uh, well behaved in terms of that like, they managed. I'm so happy to see the windmill. <laughs> they managed themselves so well. Yeah. You know, I wanted and, uh, to see the windmill. There was no which, luck. Um, yeah, there were no issues, which kind of made it so much more easy for us. Yeah. You know, um, so I think it makes a huge and difference if you. I like to see the windmill. And yes, I think you. the main thing is that because we like outdoors so much and they both like outdoors so much, you know, they like nature, they like outdoors, what? exploring. Daddy, really look at that one! Yeah, yeah, my love. Whoa, they were rich! And I think also, the credit also goes to the kind of programs that they watch on YouTube, which is more about nature and exploring. And I think that yes. was the um, excitement and that was the thrill that really helped them to, you know, enjoy this trip. And make the best of it. Absolutely. So, guys, we we definitely encourage people to take the East Coast trip. Yeah. It's a bit of a quieter trip compared to most of the other roads. You might not Pretty find so many up. places, and the roads are definitely nice. But I think as a family or with a group of friends, it's worth the trip. You know, our experience has been that we would highly recommend this to many people. Yeah. And uh, especially if you think you can drive like, you know, like how we did, we took basically every yeah. night a break just to recharge ourselves because of the scenic views. We didn't want yeah. to miss that. So this was another memory that we put together. as a family. We put together as a family and many more to come. Absolutely. So and we are sharing it with you all. And we wanted to share this with all of you and we'll be sharing many more of our journeys and uh, our travels yes. with you guys and one of the reasons why we want to do it is to encourage people we we got encouraged by watching others yeah. we got motivated by a couple of articles that we read about families and people and uh, you know taking a plunge and setting out to discover this beautiful country that we have we, we yeah. always go to another country we appreciate another country but we never Appreciate your Take the opportunity of <clears throat> driving through our own country. It's so beautiful. We all stuck in our own lives and we believe what we see on TV. Mm -hmm. Yes, we had our own challenges. We had our own um, reservations, I will say. But overall, it was a pretty decent experience. People were pretty helpful. Yeah, they were. Uh, and we never kind of struggled anyway. We never had any difficulties. No, we haven't. Other than a few uh, scary experiences, which is <laughs> the haunted uh, hotel. hotel, which yeah, was basically. in Pondicherry. But I think that yeah. is also was an experience. <laughs> yes, it was. So, yes. Was uh, someone keeping so guys, quiet about uh, it. <laughs> so, we are on our way back. We'll keep you posted on the journey. Yeah. Because this is also a road trip. 600 kilometers, 660 kilometers of a road trip yep. to Bangalore. I'm sure it's also going to be a very scenic one, but we'll be doing mostly night driving yeah. because I think I have had enough of day driving. Yeah, it's just it it's gets pretty exhausting. Very, yeah, because it's not that heat. easy, especially if you're just the only driver. So if you are more than one driver, then it's kind of fine. You can take chances or you can take turns rather. Well, but I can I think, drive, but on but these still, roads, it's. No, it's fine. You're not used to driving on these roads. Like I said, no, if you, I said. like you saw how many times during our drive that uh, rules are not obeyed. As simple as yeah, it is. Like People the buses, trucks, cars, scooters, are whatever, overtaking they just where they shouldn't be. And you know, all of a sudden there's a bus in front of you. So you, you, you really can't get upset that the person is not following the rules. You just no. have to kind of manage around You just have it. to manage around and make sure that you're safe. Yeah. So since I am from here, and my driving is obviously adapted to, to India, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, I would encourage if one or more than one person is driving, then yes, definitely I would have taken a day trip. Yeah. But I think now we wanted to do a road trip just to recollect ourselves, connect as a family. Yeah, recharge. Spend time together. I think this makes a huge difference in our lives. 
we get to know each other better because we spend time. We never listen to a single song other than ourselves that sang. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we. I think it has really brought us close together as a family. We got to know each other, you know, much better because, and especially with me working and only being at home on Saturdays and Sundays. So I think this was a great opportunity, and we'll be doing many more like this. Yes. And we encourage people as well to do this Absolutely. because, after all. What is better than family? Family, friends, memories, whatever is good for you. You know, everybody yeah. has a different reason. Yeah. So yeah, guys, just uh, stay tuned. Yes. We will be doing some daring stuff on our way home, uh, which we wanted to do all the way, but we never got a chance. We kind of. Yeah, we because we haven't been able to. No, I think it's the first time when you do it. It's kind of difficult. But maybe when yeah. the second time next year when we're going to do the same trip, we'll be more organized because we know the places where to stop. Yeah, now so, we know where to stop. Yeah, and we so can't we kind of be a bit more yeah. organized. This was as it was go, but we kind of managed pretty well. Mm. And uh, yeah, so there is still the last phase of the journey left. Yes. And uh, we'll also be recording it as well, even if it's night driving. Yeah, just so, give yeah. you guys an idea as well of what it looks like. So stay tuned, guys. And thank you for for watching, for watching and, and supporting. Uh, supporting. And I encourage many of you to also go out and share your experience. You know, it's yes. share it with the others because you never know who you might motivate and who you might be able to encourage to go out there and explore. So yeah. every everybody's story is different, and I encourage more and more people, or we encourage more and more people to do this. Yes. Uh, and yeah, let's let's create memories. Let's uh, you know kind of explore our own country and get to know it much better than we want to go and explore others. So guys, stay tuned.
So you guys can't really see us in the car unless there's lights in the front. Um, but we've just had a quick stop just to have a bite to eat. Around 586 kilometers to Bangkok. Yes, we've got about 10 hours left before we reach home Bangkok. You can still hear us. Um, yeah, you can still hear us. Did you turn on the light? No, we can't turn on the light inside the car because Daddy is driving and I think even the light from the phone is kind of slightly distracting for Daddy. So I'm just going to turn it off. No, it's not. It's fine. Is it fine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I won't be driving the bus. Okay, so we're going to do, I know we said we don't want to do um, night driving, but that was also mainly for the reason of not doing night driving to miss the view for going towards our destination, which was doing the East Coast. Um, Liam, see. See Liam. Oh, hey, look at that. Cool. I got to check that out. It's going to be in my truck list. Ding. That's in the truck list. Ding. I got a lot of trucks. Santa's got a long list. I um, got a list of trucks. <laughs> yeah, you do. How many people? Um, but we've decided to do through the night driving, or actually, Noel decided to do through the night. For one, we have finished the sightseeing thing that we wanted to do, or most of it actually, that we wanted to do for East Coast. Um, now it is just driving back home and he said, you know what, let's just push through. Then tomorrow during the day we can sleep because day driving becomes too hot um, and a lot more tiring than what it would do for night driving. Also night driving will avoid the traffic because of the curfews. Yeah, there's still so curfews kind of traffic also. on the road will be a bit less. Yeah, we might catch a couple of trucks still for the next two hours yeah. maybe. Because um, it is, what, 7.30 now? And also yeah. the thing is like, what I've realized during driving during the day, it is more exhausting because of the heat. It is. It feels like you're And also there's too much traffic on the road which kind of also makes you a bit of exhausted. It does because there's so much if more. if I look at the night driving, I find it much better. Yes. It looks like he has a. Okay, it's, look, it's not full diversions, is it? No, it's not a full diversion. It's just they're busy with. That is not a person standing there, that is a dummy. <laughs> um, He'll be standing there the entire night. He's been standing there for long. Um, so, you know, definitely day driving is a lot more tiring. Yeah. We might catch a diversion here and there on this road, but the looks of it, it looks like they are busy with road works here. They're busy with subway driving. The other side it was fine, but the side they're busy. They do yeah. one side at a time. Yeah, so we'll see Why with that. Are on the wrong side? Yeah, the we are, is, but that side is blocked more Yeah, the, the road is closed on the other side. You can't drive that side. So. No, this is a long one. Oh, you yeah, remember this? Yeah, I do. <coughs> this is a long one. After that, oh. where we stop for that place to eat. Which one? When you went to that post side. <coughs> we passed this road, yeah. That's what I'm saying, it's just for this little stretch. Yeah, um, but we'll take it easy. And um, it won't be as tiring oh. like Noel said because of it not being that hot. Um, and traffic will okay. definitely be like quite a bit less as well. Um, but you know, we'll keep you guys posted and updated of how the night travel is going. Shouldn't be too bad, I think. The roads are a bit quiet, so it's fine. Yeah. <coughs> also, it's curfew still, so like you said, it's all from 9 o'clock on, it's curfew. As far as we know, it's still that. We haven't actually... There hasn't been much updates on the news, though, regarding that. So, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. And the kids will probably sleep with their tummies off, because they just had a bite to eat as well. So. Okay. Kids are saying goodnight. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we are back home. I didn't do any recordings 
during the night. Um, I was like dozing on and off the whole night. And I was driving through the night, just like basically non stop. He did stop a couple of times. He stopped about like six, seven I stopped times. Yeah, just to have a cup of coffee. Just for some coffee and. Um, just to kind of keep myself awake. And just for like a half an hour. Because I have been driving since yesterday. Yesterday morning. Morning, morning since 5 o'clock. 5.36. 6 o'clock. No, around about 6 o'clock, I think. Yeah, since 6 yesterday. And it's now 6.30 in Bangalore. Morning, so that's 24 hours. Yes. I um, have driven for 24 hours straight and I have driven, I tell you how much, 1021 kilometers. Yes, and we'll be yeah. basically home. Yes, Liam? So, 1025 kilometers is what I have driven. Yes. Hello? Since Hello? yesterday morning, 5 o'clock. Um, we're close to house. Um, so, yeah, so we had a a good drive. Um, yeah, it was the roads were in, was in quite good condition though, hey? yeah, up until we hit so Bengal. <laughs> yeah, I think we have got to realize Bengal's condition compared one to second, the others. One second, one second. Okay. No, no, definitely. And definitely you can see. give you our inputs about what we experienced and what Bangalore has to offer. Yes. So, uh, kind of, you get to see the other South Indian states and the way they are looked after and the way they are kept. Makes you, makes you think, think, why hasn't Bangalore? But anyways, we'll, we'll do that. No, no, we'll do like a whole roundup. So I just wanted to get home rather than driving in the day. Yeah. Because night traffic was less. It was, we had, there was quite a lot of trucks up until what, about... Now and again, but... Yeah, up until say about 11 o'clock, there was quite was a bit of trucks. After that, calmed down a lot, like there was hardly anything. And then from what, about 5 o'clock again this morning, it started to pick up, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, so all the way from about 5 o'clock this morning, it's been strenuous driving. Um, with trucks and buses and... Well, the moment we entered into like around, uh, I will say around uh, 200 kilometers from Bangalore is when actually the traffic really started. Yeah. So a lot of trucks, and a lot of buses the way and very rushed, uh, reckless driving. Definitely, loads of reckless driving. So yeah, but anyways, we are home. Yeah, we are basically home. Sound. Yeah. Um, so we'll check in with you guys a bit later again and give our full review of our entire road trip and what yeah, we thought of each state. Yeah. Okay. Basically we have done the whole of Tamil Nadu. Yeah we have. The coastal and the interior. Yes.